Hello everyone, my name is Jim Sandoval, and I'm with Strategic Systems Group, and I want to go over some of the basics in manufacturing for Dynamics 365 Business Central by showing you how to create a bill of material. Now, let's ask ourselves, what is a bill of material? A bill of material is, in essence, a recipe. Uh, a recipe that's made out of individual components, uh, raw materials, services, so on and so forth, that come together to create a product that you wish to sell. For this example, what we're going to do is we're going to make a rear wheel for a bicycle out of all its component parts, and then actually assign that bill of material to a product that we're going to resell. First thing we got to do is collect a list of all the materials that make this wheel. Then we're going to go ahead and make a bill of materials that brings together all of these materials that comprise one finished product, our rear wheel. And then we're going to assign that bill of material to an individual product in our item category for sale by our sales team. So let's go in and check out exactly how that's done. Okay, so here we are in our production manager role center uh, splash screen. Uh, and you'll see that uh, we can actually make a production BOM straight off of the action pane over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and make this as item, as production BOM 1220. We'll add the description of aluminum rear wheel and our unit of measure code will be pieces since we're actually going to move these on an individual piece basis so set that to pieces all right and we're going to leave our status as new now status is the thing that actually lets the system know whether a bom is ready to be used or not so once i've actually finished everything reviewed it and know that all my items are in the places that i want it to be i'll go ahead and move this to certified uh, if there are changes that need to be made and i need to pull that from regular production but i still want to work with it and not actually close it out i can change it to under development make my changes changes and then set it back to certified but for right now we're going to leave that for new we're going to take things a lot easier on ourselves instead of going into the items line by line, which we can actually do here uh, by listing our items. Uh, we're going to go over to process and we're going to copy a BOM. And you're going to see that uh, a back wheel is already set up as a BOM 1200 and all of our items are here. So we have our tube, our tire, our back hub, our spokes and our rim. But our rim is special here. We're actually looking for an aluminum rim. so. I'm going to go ahead and type aluminum here, and you'll see the rim aluminum item 1111 is listed. So there we go. We actually made the change to an already existing sort of template or another product that meets this uh, criteria, changed something, and then made it into a new product. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and certify the item. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our BOM list. And we're going to see that our aluminum rear wheel BOM 1220 is all set in our system. All right. So now that we have our production BOM set, I'm going to go ahead and assign that to an item. So we're going to go to our items list. And I've already created an item here uh, that is a rear wheel aluminum. That's item 1112. All right. And we're going to go over here to replenishment and see where it says production BOM number. I'm going to go ahead and give it the production BOM number that I set up here for our aluminum rear wheel, 1220. So now that uh, bill of material is now assigned to this item. So when this item is sold, uh, that bill of material will be uh, actually kicked into place to make sure that you have inventory. Uh, if you already have uh, the bill of material set to have a certain amount of inventory set for you, you can actually start that in manufacturing right there and have those items set. But you'll see that they're actually set to zero right now and everything is set to manufacture or make to stock. Or, uh, so it will be made as soon as it is ordered. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now that we have our, our rear wheel aluminum all set with its uh, bill of material, we can actually start producing those out of whatever work centers you guys have uh, set up for it and uh, sell them to your finished customer or actually use it as an item to add to a finished entire bicycle if you wanted to. And that's all I have to say about bills of material from beginning to end of business center.